What's up, party people? I'm Burke Hawk, and this is Rock Talk. Today, I'm joined by... Mike Manteca. Dial it. Wreck. You guys all form. Dial it. <laughs> and for people at home that don't know what that is, what is Dial it? Uh, experimental noise hip-hop. <laughs> Jersey originally, Queens, Jersey, you know what I mean? So At the fundamental root level, you're a hip-hop group, correct? Yeah, I mean, we're we a hip-hop group that incorporates a lot of uh, heavy noise, um, soundscapes, that kind of thing, you know, political rhyming. Yeah, I was, I was actually listening to, or reading, actually, about something about you guys earlier, actually, today, in case th this opportunity presented itself, was that... You, I don't know if it's true, but in the interview, it was saying that you guys kind of describe yourselves as a hip hop group that just kind of went a different way with the sound of hip hop. Yeah, is I mean, that is that correct? Yeah, I mean, like hip hop. When hip hop first started, hip hop was all about taking all types of sounds that are around you and reinterpreting it and making it your own. Yeah, you know what I mean, and uh, basically, we are that. Um, influenced by Public Enemy, influenced yep. by My Buddy Valentine, Velvet Underground. Yep. Um, influenced by absolutely everything. Yeah, everything. Yeah, there, really, there's I mean, no holds barred. It's like you like music, and it's just like what hip hop was. It was yeah. just like taking, hey, I like that. That's a great sound. So, where do you guys think hip hop is today? Uh, <laughs> well, wow. I'll, hold on. I'll throw, I'll throw out some names. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll go back. Public Enemy. Yo, yeah. I yeah. Mean, that's that's the Godfathers, as far as I'm concerned. Of. Uh, Conscious political rap, along with KRS One, Boogie Down Productions. You yeah. Know what I mean? Um, I, the thing about hip hop right now is like you have mainstream rap, yeah. commercial rap, and you still have underground real hip hop. There's still cats that are doing the boom bap culture that it was and is. You know yeah. what I mean? Um, I think people just get confused because you know obviously mainstream music gets a lot of more money put behind it and a lot more um, airplay, but you still have cats like Ka. You still have cats. Um, you know I mean, like, Trico Quest just dropped a record that, yeah. I mean, is mind-blowing. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, it, and I, I, that's exactly the album I needed at this time. You know what I mean? So it's like, yo, like, there's, there's mad cats that are doing stuff, man, like uh, Immortal Technique. Um, I'm blanking on names right well, now. No, it's okay. I, 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 think, I think the difference is, like, when hip-hop started, no matter what the music was, it was all very conscious, conscious yeah. you know? and like Hip-hop had a message. Yeah, exactly. And now mainstream hip-hop does not, ha it has a message, but a yeah. one, you know, it's well, like, but there are a lot of artists, like he's saying, like Khan, guys like that, like they actually have a message, but unfortunately, peop they're going under the radar and people aren't catching that message. Well, I found you guys at the right time because for a long time, I thought hip hop is dead. Uh, people are going to probably crucify me. Hip hop's not dead, but it was dead to me because I was all about a message. Yeah. You know, the public yeah. enemies of the world, uh, like you said, KRS-One, Biggie, like, they all had a message. At, you know? at its core, it's protest music. Yes. It's folk music. It's punk rock. It's it's yeah. everything. It's just like it's like you know it's yeah. wake up. Yeah. You know. So it, it, if the tides are turning, uh, and I hope they are, I think you know bands like yourself or groups like yourself could lead the charge. I hope so. I hope so yeah. too. Is there any bands that you think that you know had that type of message that could push it back? coming full force, I, you know, it, it wasn't, you got the public enemies, uh, one that comes to mind that wasn't necessarily political, but, but got to the roots of hip hop was Funk Dubious. I don't know if you yeah, remember Funk, Funk Dubious. Dubious. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely, like, absolutely. Do these bands need to make a resurgence? Well, I think, I mean, like the thing is hip hop, hip -hop is forever evolving, man. And if, if, I feel like if cats have something to say, they need to say it. You yeah. know what I mean? And if, if cats have a name like where, where people want to see them, then now's your time to come out and like speak your mind. Yeah. You know what it's I mean? And there's also and there's also a whole new generation of cats like Kendrick Lamar, man. Yeah. Yeah. Kendrick Lamar is like is a shining example of music that gets the the mainstream shine yeah. and yet actually has a message and is saying something. You know what I mean? Like that cat, that brother right there, like just makes me smile and makes me feel good because I feel like, yo, that's enough. That's a younger generation that's gonna carry it forward. 
And that's what we need, man. Like the, you know, the soldiers are there. They're all there. It's just time for people to step up and like start. Stop. Stop with the. <laughs> And no one needs to party no more. No, no, no. You know what I mean? It's no more party, party, man. Right. Nah. Can't now be afraid to, to speak your mind. Yeah, speak your mind. You know what I mean? Let heads know how you really feel. Let heads know like what it's really about. Yeah. Like, hip hop used to be like before there was the internet. Hip hop, hip hop was the internet for for the hood and for the inner cities. Hip hop is what let people know what is actually happening. Well, it was with you the mixtapes and getting yeah. Word to nah, but yo, like NWA. You know what I mean? Like all those crews, like they're the ones that let people know what was going on. Yeah. So, yo, it's time now to let people know exactly what's going on. You know what I mean? That's the way I feel. So this so, is a call out. Word up. Yeah, yeah. it is. Yeah. You know, and, and this <laughs> a lot more to say. Yeah. Where are you guys in the uh, recording process right now? Anything coming up? I'm sure we you're just, writing all uh, the we time. Just, we just released a single on Election Day uh, called Molten that's uh, available on iTunes, Bandcamp, uh, Apple Music, everywhere, Spotify, yeah. whatever. Yeah. Um, so you can stream it, you can download it, it's all there. Um, that's the first joint, um, first salvo for our, our next album that we're going to finish up uh, this end of this year. Yeah. So we'll have that out next year. Yeah. So, yeah, awesome. that's that's where we are right now. Well, I appreciate your guys' time. Best yeah. of luck. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Deadverse.com. Thank you so much. Yeah. That's where we're checking out? No doubt. Deadverse.com. Check it out, people. Yeah, man. Control, 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 control,